Hello, I'm Jim Manny. I'm a senior editor at Loyola Press. I'm one of the editors of the Ignatian Prayer Adventure Retreat. Now this week of the retreat we're talking about sin. Sin isn't a subject that we really like to think about too much, but it's something we can't ignore. We're doing a retreat, we'll have to talk about sin. For myself, uh, for a long time I was accustomed to thinking about sin as acts that violate moral laws, like stealing is a sin. So is slander, angry tirades, lying. Those things are sins. Yes, but uh, I came to realize that sin goes deeper than that. Stealing and lies, those things arise from big disorders deep inside. And that's where the problem is. The sin problem isn't just the bad things I do. The problem is that I'm the kind of person who does bad things. In other words, the sin problem is me. I think that failure is a good metaphor for sin. We fall short of our own ideals. Uh, we don't thwart God so much as thwart ourselves. We all know what failure is like. It's a very concrete, very common experience. A pet project falls apart. And we don't get the job we wanted. Children misbehave. A friend cuts off contact. Marriages collapse. You know, most things don't work out the way we'd like them to. Most of the time, uh, we don't act the way that we want to act. Sin hobbles our relationship with God, not because it's a black mark in a book kept by the divine scorekeeper. Uh, it hobbles our relationship with God because it makes us less able to give and receive love. Looking at our sins and faults allows us to take responsibility for them. We can possess them, they no longer possess us, and we become more and more able to give our whole selves to God and to become the people we're created to be.